Last week on Searching for Purpose. Halfway through April, and haven't really given anyone an update. So let's take a look back on the month of March. So we started contest prep for my first bodybuilding show in seven years on March 1st, 2019. And from that day, for the first 31 days, we ate. Demon, in exchange for the last eight weapons, I can kill you. We prepped meals. We ate some more. Got our workouts in. Get our cardio. Got more workouts in. We ate more. We ate out a couple times. You can see the common theme here. We got everything we needed to done. So with 31 days into the diet, what are the results? Well, here are the results. I'm down one pound. I know that may not seem very good for a contest prep to only be down one pound and to be in the deficit that I'm in, but I need you to understand one thing. When I started this contest prep, I was severely detrained and I was severely out of shape. So I started this contest prep at 209.2 pounds at 31% body fat. Yikes. It's a pretty high body fat percentage, uh, not just for a competitor, but just for a male in general. Um, it's not very healthy. So I made a change. For a month, we crushed it and I lost one pound. And that can be disheartening to a lot of people. But this is why I track so many metrics. So I, I use the scale, I take before and after pictures, and I take body fat. So again, 209.2 pounds, 31% body fat. We are now 208 pounds, 20% body fat. So I lost 11% body fat in just a little over four weeks from test to test. And that might seem kind of crazy, but again, I was severely detrained, and now we have a really good starting point for the rest of this contest prep. So with that being said, you're caught up. You know where I stand. Let's crush the rest of this contest prep. Lately I've been out of pocket, not what I intended Nowadays my mind is moving miles right a minute Ask me if I really want it, who the fuck you kidding? Music took over my life right before I tried to Lately I've been out of pocket, not what I